Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to install a DD2 race engine on this brand new Tony car. So let's get to it. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Thanks to everybody out there on the community, YouTube, Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook asking questions. We really appreciate it. We've been hit up quite a bit lately for some DD2 questions. So over the next few weeks, we, we have a DD2 engine and a DD2 car, which is brand new. And we're gonna be showing you the installation process. So for all those DD2 fans, stay tuned. Let's get to it. So what we've got here is an older model DD2 that's never been used. So it's brand new and we still haven't even assembled. As you can see, it's got zip ties on it. The axle is being just sitting in the cart. None of the wheels are put on, none of the tie rods. So we do have to do a little bit more of the cart assembly. Well, what we're gonna to do today is install the engine onto the frame. All right, so what we have here is an X-Team racing engine prepared by the Tony Kart main man himself, Greg Smith, the Baron, hence the Baron tuned engine sticker. So anyway, this is the engine we're gonna be using for the DD2 build up project. Now we're ready to install the engine. Now on the DD2, the engine and the axle are one assembly. So on your traditional go-kart, you bolt your cart to the engine frame, and then there's a chain between the engine and the axle. Whereas on the DD2, the, uh, the axle actually goes right through the gearbox of the engine. So the engine bolts to the, to the frame, and then it's actually your axle bearings as well, all in one. So as you can see here, there's no bearing cassettes or bearings. The, axle's gonna, the engine's gonna slip straight onto the axle, and we're gonna bolt it up here. Uh, we're gonna put a fuel pump there. So first up, we're gonna cut this zip tie. So get yourself some spray lube here. We use the uh, super lube here. Spray it on the axle. Okay, so on your Tony cart, these are the ride height packers. They change in height depending on what ride height you're running. We're running in the low ride height position so that we get great acceleration, which is key for DD2 performance. So they just sit here on the chassis like so. And then we're gonna slide the engine over the axle, sit down on those and screw straight through them. You can see here that I've uh, in included a zip tie on the cart to the trolley to stop the cart from moving around as I'm sliding the engine on. Rotate the engine 90 degrees so that it doesn't crash into the side pod or you'll have to take your side pod off. And then just slide the engine on like so. And it is pretty heavy, but if you just jiggle it on the axle, it'll just slide straight on. So now you just need to install the four M8 cap screws up through the chassis and into the engine. Get the uh, M8 bolt started with the Allen key, just like so. Just give them a little jiggle there. And then you can nip them up with a rattle gun. To line the hole up, you can just stick the Allen key up without the bolt and just give it a little jiggle there in the threaded hole, then get your M8 cap screw, get that one started there, this one started here, So there you have it. That's the first part of the DD2 engine installation on this Tony car Racer 401. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna show you how to install the exhaust system, the electrics, throttle cable, and fuel delivery system as well. Basically, the whole kit and caboodle from start to finish. If you're liking these videos, please consider subscribing, turning on those pesky notifications, giving us a thumbs up, following along on Instagram and Facebook, at Power Republic head on over to our Patreon page if you want to show us some love over there. Go to our website, www.powerrepublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt, Tony Cup 401 or a DD2 race engine. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.